I have come to the conclusion that the my ability to make videos or have time to make videos is uh, has become almost zero. So I am waiting to pick up my granddaughter outside the school, and I usually have about 20 minutes or so to chill. So I'm going to do a video at that point. Uh, so. I was having a short discussion. I was doing some com computer repair at work, and uh, one of the ther our therapists there started talking about how she really likes Donald Trump and how he seems really honest and he's going to deal with the welfare fraud that's so rampant in our country. And there was really no question that she was talking about food stamps and minorities getting welfare help and how that costs so much money and we need to address that because we just can't afford it. And she was asking me my opinion. <clears throat> uh, which you can probably already tell, I... I want welfare. I, I, I think we should expand Social Security. I think we should have Medicare for all. Bernie Sanders, as everyone knows, is my guy. Uh, and I'll, I'll discuss it, the merits of uh, food stamps and uh, uh, which candidate. I'll do arguments about welfare, of course. Uh, but I had to make it clear to her, and I, I don't know if she received it, like I wanted to present it, uh, but when you have, my, my uh, statement was, when you have corporate welfare in the trillions with a T, arguing about food stamps and welfare and health care for minorities, which is measured in the millions, is pointless. Uh, I gave the example that uh, a doctor has a, uh, a patient come in with a skinned knee and a bullet hole in the chest. And the doctor spends all his time discussing how he's going to deal with the skinned knee while the bullet hole in the chest is just hemorrhaging uh, all the fluids. <clears throat> That's how I see the welfare debate. Uh, we have... Uh, I believe too many people on welfare, of course, uh, at, for the system as it's set up now, uh, and because of, uh, how are they putting it, uh, casino capitalism, uh, corporations, large corporations that could afford to pay their employees a living wage, choose instead to give that, uh, those profits to corporate CEOs, and then force the government to provide a living wage increase or food stamps for those people that the corporations refuse to pay, which is, I think, what government is for, is to regulate corporations to make sure that they pay a living wage and, and don't pay so little that it's become slave labor. Uh, well, at the same time, our tax money, our tax money, which should be going to our welfare, is instead going in to the corporation's welfare uh, to the tone of trillions of dollars a year. I also believe that we should get, we're wealthy enough, America is wealthy enough, that we should be able to uh, grant everyone a living wage a, a, a amount, an amount of money in which they could, and, and to regulate this so that there would be a place where on the base income provided by a government subsidy, you could be able to afford either a small car or public transport, a small apartment, food, uh, medical coverage, uh, uh, basic clothing, food, shelter, that sort of thing. Uh, nothing extravagant of internet uh, it has become a necessity. Uh, you can't do a job application in person anymore. You can't pay your bills in person anymore, largely. Uh, so you really do need the internet and communication, uh, a, a cell phone. So I think those are all basic needs. Uh, the basic needs, not of 
500 years ago where the basic need was a, a, a plow or a horse and a, a backpack. We have more basic needs. You can't live like that anymore. It's the 21st century. We, we need to move on. Uh, but we need to, we need to and can afford to guarantee every, at least every American citizen, a basic income. And if they want more, if they want a Ferrari, if they want uh, a penthouse in New York, they can work additional above and beyond that. But I don't think that you should have to pay money simply for the honor of existing. If you go back 10,000 years, <clears throat> you, didn't, you weren't forced to pay for food. You weren't forced, forced to pay for uh, property. You weren't forced to pay for these basic, to, to just exist. You could just exist. You could forage for yourself. You could hunt for yourself. We're no longer in that society. We are way past being able to forage for ourselves. Uh, corporations, governments, large populations, because there are so many of us, uh, we are forced to now just live as we are. And I don't think that it's now fair because I believe we do get together to help each other and make things fair as fair as we can so I think we should grant everyone a an existing a, a credit to just exist so you can have some place to live have transportation have communication be able to interact and and just be alive and enjoy life if you want more than that if you're more driven uh, and and uh, by all means, uh, dr people driven should, I suppose, get more of a reward for being driven, although that's who they are. They, get, they didn't get to choose that either. Uh, but a basic, basic income. Uh, that's my idea. That's my ramble. I don't have a, a tablet in front of me or my computer, so uh, normally I, I'm able to look at the screen and reference some stuff, so that's just off the top of my head. A conversation that I had earlier with a therapist of mine uh, about welfare, Mexicans and blacks, was implied. Uh, I don't think she's racist, of course. Uh, it was That was... In being a Trump follower... The only way you could be a Trump follower is if you buy into the us versus them scenario. And, sh and she, she had been following. She is following that us versus them. It's either me or them. Uh, not taking into the fuller picture that, no, no, it's all us. And, and them is the corporations and, and the people that are stealing from us. I'm going to stop rambling. That's my video of the day. Peace.